Hello and welcome to Rome 2 Mods Weekly. This week we have Native Egyptian Units by Genesis. Egypt in the base game has a strong and diverse roster, easily one of the best in the entire game in my opinion. But one thing that it definitely lacks is Native Egyptian Units. This mod adds 10 brand new Native Egyptian Units to the roster. These units run the gamut from very low tier to elite tier. The mod also adds new Egyptian officers to the units, which can be seen here. While the mod isn't strictly historically accurate, by the 3rd century BCE, Ptolemaic Egypt was struggling to fill its armies with Greeks and increasingly had to rely on natives to fill out its formations, so it's not lore-breaking or anything. So without further ado, let's check out what this mod has to offer. Egyptian Spear Levies is a tier 0 spear unit that's similar in price to Egyptian infantry. They lack precursor javelins, but make up for it by having more melee attack and defense, as well as the rapid advance ability which makes them great for pinning down cavalry. Desert Axeman is a very cool and unique tier 3 unit that uses armor piercing axes in combat. What sets them apart from your typical melee infantry unit is the 5 javelins that each man carries. They behave very similarly to the Thoreo Spears unit, sitting back and skirmishing like Peltis before joining the fray and fighting with decent stats and melee. Speaking of Thoreo Spears, Nile Spearman is the native Egyptian spin on it. They have slightly higher base stats than their Hellenic counterparts, but they're squishier to compensate. Egyptian Veteran Infantry is a mid-tier take on the horrible but very cool looking Egyptian Infantry unit. They're slightly worse than Thorax Swordsman, but they're more expensive to recruit, making their values somewhat questionable if I'm being honest. On the plus side though, they do look very cool. Monthu's Pikeman is an elite tier pike unit similar to the Hellenic Royal Guard, though much less armored and more expensive to recruit. I'm not sure why these guys didn't receive a price reduction to match their reduced stats. Overall though, they're still a pretty strong unit for their cost. Pharaoh's Royal Guard is uniquely only recruitable as a bodyguard unit, and it behaves like a juiced up version of Royal Thorax Swordsman. They're still not quite as strong as the Galatian Royal Guard, but they definitely look cooler. Egyptian Peltists are slightly better than their Hellenic counterparts, but have the cost increase to match. Other than stats, they behave identically to regular Peltists. One nice thing about these guys though is that you get to keep them even after the vanilla Peltists are upgraded to their lighter version through the tech tree. Egyptian Veteran Archers is a very powerful and cool looking bow unit that's available from the tier 4 skirmisher barracks. They fire 6 shots per minute, which can be increased even further by using their quick reload ability. Their biggest asset though, in my opinion, is making the tier 4 skirmisher barracks worth building in the first place, as this is the only unit that it unlocks. Nubian Cavalry is one of my favorite units in the entire mod, mostly because it embodies exactly what I love about Nubian Spearmen, but in cavalry form. They're cheap, but they punch way above their weight. Finally, Egyptian Chariots perform similarly to their North Africa counterparts. They're much weaker than scythe chariots, but they use javelins to safely pepper their foes from a distance. And they can be used to chase down routing units, or charge into the flanks in a pinch, and when they charge, they do a ton of damage, don't let their weak stats fool you. These guys can easily rack up hundreds of kills. Unfortunately, they're bugged, and they're not recruitable anywhere in the campaign, despite what it says in the pack files. I know, I looked. So unfortunately, you'll only be able to use them in custom battles. In the end guys, this mod is great if you want the immersion of playing Egypt with Egyptian units, rather than the Hellenic ones that the other successor kingdoms use. If that sounds appealing to you, then definitely check this one out before you fire up your next Egypt playthrough. The link will be in the description below. It has a couple of issues of course, but nothing that's game breaking, and overall it accomplishes its goal of making Egypt more Egyptian. So what's your favorite underrated Rome 2 mod? Let me know in the comments down below, let's talk about it. And if you want to see more Mods Weekly videos like this one, then check out the Mods Weekly playlist, and make sure to subscribe so you can be notified every time a new one gets uploaded. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one.